my word and my father will love him and we shall come to him alleluia Lord be with you and with your spirit reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew glory to you Lord Jesus said to his disciples no one can be a slave of two masters they will either hate the first and love the second or treat the first with respect and the second with scorn You cannot be a slave both of God and of money. That is why I am telling you not to worry about your life and what you are to eat, nor about your body and how you are to clothe it. Surely life means far more than food and the body more than clothing. Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap or gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not worth much more than they are? Can any of you, for all your worrying, add one single cubit to the span of your life? And why worry about clothing? Think of the flowers growing in the fields. They never have to work or spin. Yet I assure you that not even Solomon in all his regalia was robed like one of these. Now, if that is how God clothes the grass in the field, which is here today and thrown into the furnace tomorrow, Will he not much more look after you, you people of little faith? So do not worry. Do not say, what are we to eat? What are we to drink? How are we to be clothed? It is the pagans who set their hearts on all these things. Your heavenly Father knows you need them all. So set your heart on God's kingdom first and on God's righteousness and all these other things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. The Holy Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So good morning, everybody. Very consoling words in today's Gospel. Don't be worried. Easier said than done, isn't it? Somebody once says, don't take tomorrow's worries to bed with you tonight. Again, much easier said than done. So it's very consoling readings today. The first reading, God is very providential looks after us. He clothes us more beautifully than the grass in the field and feeds us better than the birds in the air. But it's a challenging gospel because the edge to it is that we really, really have to trust and put God first in our lives. Suppose there's a way of thinking today that relegates religion, puts it way out on the side. I know nobody here would think that way. But often we meet people and we hear it in public discourse and their philosophy of life is this, life is for living, just get on with life, work hard if you're lucky enough to have work, play hard, have a good time, enjoy the good things in life and the more the better and I suppose yes we do need a moral code, we need to know what's right and what's wrong, we can get it anywhere really and if you get it from religion all the better but it's not essential religion in our lives. 
Now, I'm not saying this is true. I'm not saying you believe it. But we hear it. We hear this way of speaking. It gets in among us. And people close to us, family members, speak like that. And they really reduce religion to kind of a sideshow or a, an additional extra in life. For want of a crude term, they nearly say that religion is a bit like an optional extra. It's a bit like a fashion accessory. It's a bit like a, a handbag or a scarf or something you put in your hair. It might, can make you look good in certain circumstances, but in other circumstances, maybe not so good. That way of thinking is around us. I'm sure nobody here would think like that. You wouldn't be here this morning if you did, but it's all around us. And today in the gospel, we get our answer to that way of thinking. It says that's not the Christian view. The Christian view is the challenging gospel of today, which says to us, set your heart on God's kingdom and set your heart on God's righteousness, which means trying to do the right thing. And then forget about everything else. All the other things, the concerns of daily life, they will fall in behind that. They're the things you don't worry about. If you're going to worry about something, worry about setting your heart on God and set your heart on doing the right thing. So we can see while it might sound like a little bit of an academic argument, it's actually quite important how we arrange our priorities in life. Today's Gospel, it also answers a lot of the isms. There's a whole lot of ways of thinking and ideologies and isms around and Two big isms around today is materialism and consumerism. And materialism tells us life is all about having good things, all the nice, beautiful things in life. And we all like them and we love them and they bring us joy and contentment and security. But I suppose materialism focuses solely on all those things in life. And then consumerism tells us we get money and we get out and we spend and we get these things and the more we spend, the happier we'll be, that we're really consuming all the time, buying, making ourselves happy by material things. And again, today's gospel speaks to that, and it puts it back in its place, and it says, do not worry about what you are to eat. Do not worry about what you are to drink. Do not worry about what clothes you wear, beautiful and all that we all are. Set your heart on God's kingdom and God's righteousness and then all these other things food and drink and clothing will come our way in God's own time as well see how challenging it is to see the fundamental trust it calls us to and a lot of time we're not willing or not able or not in the circumstances to take that step in faith and in trust towards God putting God first. I suppose the unfortunate thing in life, there are many people today who have to worry about what they are to eat and what they are to drink and what they have to wear. And that's why every Sunday morning here in Clannard, we have St. Vincent de Paul available in the parlour to help people who worry about these immediate things. We have a collection outside the church every Sunday for St. Vincent de Paul because still unfortunately there are many things, many people who have to worry about these things because of their life situation. But for a lot more people, and maybe the vast majority of us, we don't really have to worry about these things so fundamentally. We know where today's Sunday dinner is coming from. You might already have it in the oven, and certainly you have it prepared, or you know where you're getting it. So we don't have to worry about these immediate things, or we shouldn't have to worry about them. And yet still, just think for a moment, how much of my time do I spend thinking about what I eat and what I drink and what I wear and what I buy and what I have and more importantly, what others have and I don't have and I'd like to have and I'd like to keep up and I'd like to surpass and I'd like to be better. We live in a world where we're flooded with material things, the good things in life we're told to have. In our world today, there is a billion pounds enterprise called advertising. And advertising tells us what we need. And advertising tells us how happy it will make us. 
and advertisement encourage us to go and get these things that they, they and they alone will make us happy. And you might say to me, I'm very simplistic about that and that really advertising don't have that impact on us at all because you can turn off the television or turn off the radio or whatever. But I would say to you that it does. Why do people spend billions of pounds on something if it did not work? Nobody has ever explained that. So much money is spent on advertising basically because advertising works. And it just doesn't work on other people, it works on all of us. It tells us what we need, creates needs in us, encourages us to spend, and encourages us to give a huge amount of our time to material things. That's why today's Gospel is so, so challenging. This week we begin Lent on Ash Wednesday. On Ash Wednesday and Lent we begin to redirect our lives, we tweak our lives, maybe get some things back in order. And that is why today's Gospel is most, most timely. How much do I spend my time on material things? And how much of my time do I focus on God? So just let's listen again to the challenge of today's Gospel. Do not worry about what we are to eat, what we are to drink, how we are to be clothed. Set your heart on God's kingdom and God's righteousness and all these other things will then be given to us as well. A big step in faith and in trust we're all invited to take. At least think about it as we begin our Lent this week. Amen.